up guys? This is, uh, it's been a while since we've since we've done this. Made a vlog or any kind of video really. How's that? Is that better? Is that is that a lot brighter? I think it's a lot brighter. Yeah, look at that. Ah, much better. Mmm. Hey, so it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, you know, sat down, had a chat, taught a few things, learned, you know, stuff. A uh, lot's been going on, a lot has been happening. I will make a life update video, maybe, in the future. Probably not, but who knows, it might happen. Uh, we got the tattoo, that was cool, got that done, awesome. Uh, I still want to get like all of this still covered, I just uh, don't have the money for it. <laughs> but today, we're talking about how you can improve your videos, and it's super easy. It doesn't matter what camera you're shooting on, doesn't matter what editing software you have, it doesn't matter, almost nothing, it's just, one thing that will improve your videos dramatically and hopefully you've seen or more of you've heard it being implemented all up until now and yes we're talking about your audio your the sound the sound design the songs you pick the sound effects you add in post to spice up your videos there's like a my little notebook a little notebook with notes um, first time I'm actually trying to keep some notes and have something but look at that what does that say? Yeah, that's it. I, Canon, you should send me stuff or give me free stuff and I'll, I'll use it. So before we dive into this video, I just want to say this is not sponsored by Epidemic Sound at all. Not affiliated, nothing. So from March 20th to March 31st, that's just over 10 days, uh, if you sign up to Epidemic Sound using my referral link down below, you will receive up to 60 days double the usual 30 day trial period. You get 60 days to try out their sound library, try out their music library, see how it looks in your videos, and that can be for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, anything. It's pretty much an open creative license to create with different music and sound. And today we're gonna to be talking about how you can use the music and sound effects from Epidemic Sound to spice up your video and make a pretty boring sequence, make a pretty bland uh, video into something a bit more fun and more watchable. So, so today I've got a pretty boring day of just doing household chores. And I'm gonna show you how you can even make that a lot more interesting and engaging by just adding the right sound effects and finding the right track. So this is kind of just like another day in the life of V-pop, just, well, I, mean, I guess that's what every vlog is, just a day in the life of V-pop, of V-pop doing V-pop things, and definitely a lot of V-pop eating, because food is awesome, and yes, I am one of those people that drink the milk that's re residue after the cereal. It just seems like a waste if you don't do it. You, you, know, you, you want to throw that out? No, no, don't waste it. Comment below, drink the milk or throw it out. Okay, so like I was saying before, we are going to be using sound effects to spice up the next couple of sequences that you're going to watch. So I'm going to do a few different sequences, some using just sound effects, some using just music, and then how you can marry the two and make a really good looking sequence, or hopefully a really good looking video. <sighs> yeah, that, that felt good. That felt like a good take. Let's, uh, let's do it. Here's, here's the sequence now, and I'm going to walk you through what I did in post-production later, so, uh, so play the sequence, V-Pop, play the sequence. <laughs> Okay, and there we go. So, uh, how did that look? That was like a very quick sequence of me doing doing some chores and then making coffee. Oh, that's a <clears throat> brand placement. Mm. Oh, regret that immediately. Like you know, when it's so hot, you burn your tongue, and now now I'm not gonna be able to taste all day. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. Uh, that's how you make any sequence of me literally taking out the trash, doing the dishes, and then making coffee. 
a little bit more exciting just by the use of sound effects. And that's just what sound effects can do. If you have the right sound, your brain makes the connection with the visuals. It doesn't matter how long the shot uh, paused or lingered. It could have been a quick two second shot, but your brain would have heard the sound before seeing the visuals and it would have made the connection. So that's, that's really cool to me. Mm. Still hot, so that's, that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go edit that sequence now. Actually, I'm gonna go clean my room and then edit that sequence because again, it's just a day of chores. So we're gonna do that today. Uh, I'm gonna go do that and talk to you more about the editing process of finding the right sound effect, right track, the right uh, music. I'm gonna talk, and then talk to you more about finding the right track and then finding the right sound effects and how to marry just sound effects you didn't think would go together into something that goes together. Yeah, cool. Cheers, guys. Okay, so how did you like those sequences? And you may have noticed a lot of those sequences didn't even have music scoring the, the sequence, the video. It was just all purely sound effects. Now, some of them were captured in camera as I was filming, but for the most part, I either enhanced the video, enhanced the sound that was already captured in camera, or I just muted the video clip and put in my own sound effects. I think sound design is a really powerful way to elevate your filmmaking and elevate the story you're trying to tell. Yes, the music track that I chose, important, but I think that the sound design and you know when you when I had the kettle pouring, you had the sound of the kettle being poured, it you wouldn't the camera didn't pick it up because I was using the DJI Osmo action because look at look at this. It just it's so small it fit inside the mug and you could get that cool top down angle, top, top down, looking up angle with the water pouring over, pouring over the camera. You couldn't do that with a big SLR, so that's why I used the app. But as I was pouring the water over the camera, you could hear the pouring of water. And then once it was completely submerged into the water, I put a low pass filter over it and you could hear a <laughs> kind of like sound effect to illustrate that you are now, you know, submerged in the water because you're visually seeing the camera be submerged, but you're not really hearing it until you add in that sound, that in, add in the low pass filter over it. And because this didn't capture almost any of the audio, or if it did, it was horrendous. I hope you're waterproof, man. <laughs> Adding those sound effects and the sound design really elevates it, and you would have heard a lot of whooshes too, like, uh, and those rises add anticipation and the whooshes to keep you engaged in the story that's being told. Again, it was a very, like, you know, conceptually, it's a boring thing that I took. I took making coffee, doing the dishes, taking out the recycling. I made, it was a very boring in concept. If I pitched that to you, said, hey, I wanna make a video about making coffee. Okay, that's not too bad. And taking out the recycling, okay. Little weird, but maybe. And doing the dishes, you're like, oh, you're just doing your chores. But I still made it engaging with the use of sound effects and sound design. Oh, I thought it was engaging. So that's how you can use sound effects, whether it's captured in camera or, you know, downloaded from Epidemic Sound. Plug. I think the sound design and the sound effects you choose to uh, complement your video speaks way more than just the song choice itself because if I go play that back and just have the music, it's not as engaging as all the sound effects that I love to put into these videos and all the videos that I make. Uh, like my previous video just before, the Port Elliot one, uh, all those drone shots, the drone doesn't capture audio because if it did, it would just be the sound of the propellers taking off. That's all you would hear. I added in the waves crashing over and, and all the scenic sounds and the whooshing sounds, the sound of a helicopter because it's an aerial shot. All of these, all of the sound effects that you heard that you hear complement the visuals. Now, if I was to put in a completely random sound, like say um, a volcano erupting in the background, a little out of place. It adds to it, but it's a little out of place. So if you want to go find uh, amazing 
selection of sound effects and music for your videos, whether it be YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever, even if it's just for your own personal use and you wanna practice, Use my referral link down below. You'll get a 60 day free trial to Epidemic Sound and you can go go create, just go create. Create more than art. That's something that you've been wanting to do and want to get into. You want to try and elevate your filmmaking. I recommend it 100%. Okay, so that's it for me guys. Hope you learned something today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you're going to use my referral link and get that 60 day free trial. Have a good morning, evening, night, and I'll see you whenever I see you next.